Hello everyone. Today we are going to begin with one of the simple writing skill expansion of idea. This is a very simple writing skill. If we understand few things, then we can write this particular writing skill in a very effective manner. There are four simple steps on how to do expansion of idea or proverb. The first one, understand the important words in the idea or proverb. Second, understand and simplify the meaning in the idea or proverb. Third, include relevant example or story in the part of explanation. At the end, the fourth step, conclusion of the idea or proverb with a similar idea or proverb if possible. Now this was about how to do expansion of idea. Now let us understand how to write the expansion of idea. It is very easy to write the expansion of idea in three paragraphs. The first one is introduction. The second one is explanation with examples. And the third one, conclusion with a quote or similar proverb if possible. Now this writing should not include this subtitles. We should not write this subtitles. Rather, we have to write it in a plain, simple manner, one after the other. Let us understand the expansion of idea with one simple example. We have the quote, nature, the best teacher. Mother nature acts as one of the best teacher. Not only like a mother, she cares for us, but also like a teacher teaches us the values of life such as to love, to care, to share and so on. If we cross our line, it also punishes us like a strict teacher. Now understand, this is a first introductory paragraph. In the present quote, we have two important words nature and teacher. So, highlighting the importance of these words, we have given the simple meaning of this quote in introduction. Now let us begin with explanation. Throughout our lives, we learn so many things from nature. The trees teach us to help selflessly. The flowers teach us to bloom and spread happiness with the help of our good deeds. Animals and birds teach us to love, care and be honest. The rivers symbolize energy. The sea symbolizes prosperity and the mountains teach us to be strong and firm in all the difficult period of our life. The changes in the nature teach us to be flexible and accept the change with time. When we cross our line, destroy the environment, the nature comes forward in the form of floods, a 
earthquakes, tsunami, etc. and teaches us a lesson to stop our greediness. So, this part of the explanation, we have taken few examples in that. If we have any relevant story, we can also include that. Now, at the end, in the conclusion, we captured very simple and very small. Thus, we can say that the wisest and the noblest teacher is the nature itself and it doesn't even take the fees. So, I hope you understood this simple way of writing.